Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the PAX Arena Invitational. The best teams in North American Valorant are gonna be facing off in one of the most high stakes competitions we've seen so far in the Ignition series. Yep. I know exactly where you are. So. Done. Where? One enemy remaining. He's probably gonna dash. I don't see him. What the? What the fuck is that, dude? Don't go fast. Don't go fast. Yeah, stuck in garage. Stuck in garage. I'm joining. I have sight. They're stuck in garage. I'm joining. Taylor's here. This is in corridor. In tunnel. Smoked off, they could be outside. Yeah, okay, teleporting. They wall you off. One jump. I have blind hands. I know exactly where you are. I'm low. I got a wall for myself. Watch out. Ash mid, mobile. Nice. Raise mid too. One more time mid. Both mid, both mid. Let's go! Nice. Right. Lex, you're fucking holy <laughs> shit. I don't even care that I just died to his race. We're gonna both get one tap, so it doesn't matter. I'm gonna drop a little more. Let's go! Let's go! No way, we lose it! Yeah! Yo, take a screenshot. We're in the fucking lead. One's pushed up stairs. Nice. Nading back site. Arrowing site. Walk. Oh, you will not kill my house. house. lit as fuck. Boat. No He's gonna cancel it. He's gonna cancel it. He's gonna cancel it. <laughs> <laughs> you knife. Take your round. He's hopping back flat. Nothing. Got one garage window. Good pick, but I think we walk up B. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I have the spike. Omen just oh, smoked. I think he's. Can we get a flash out of this Omen smoke? Oh no, we don't have one. Shit. I think he's up here. He's an Omen. I'll flash outside. I got to say, ready? Yeah, three, yeah. two, one, boom. A link, A link. Huge. One A link. One A link. Nice. Good shit. I'm pushing into A link then. One C link. One C link right now. Get the dart. One enemy Good. remaining. Go left. Okay, I don't even know how to fucking do it. Just jump, crouch, and then when you have it, you uncrouch. I'm not gonna lie, I don't think I've ever tried the boost. Got it. Go. I it's fell off, perfect. dude! <laughs> oh I'm just gonna be on flat. My bad, my bad. Yeah. I have it. You will not kill my allies. Oh my god. Ooh, they put drone and wine. I don't know if they're ready for this. They're gonna be making their push on. This could be huge. Coming out from Drone! He's going on a murder spree! That's an ace! Drone cleaning uh, up the entirety of the thieves and saying, no, this stops now. It was very much not. And oh no, he's doing it again. Someone stop the madman. He's already got three. How many more kills can he get? Well, there won't be an the ace for him. He got Drone. nine of the last 10 kills. What? Look oh. Nice. What are you doing? Oh, it, dude. Last player oh. dude. Damn it. Oh, hit yeah. twice. Mango's fucking flexing on these kids for sure. I told you, I just had to stop thinking and actually play it, dude. I can fucking play with these fucking <laughs> shitty nerds. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying to learn. I'm done learning. I'm ready to game. Thank God, please. If you're to get away, I'm gonna on safe though. Watch them run. Imagine. No way. Fuck. No way. No way. Oh Close my God. fucking <laughs> God. <laughs> And he saves the off. Oh my god! Step down.
I'm sorry, but how is Cypher alive right now? Like, I'm looking at the mini map. Okay, he was around the corner. All right, well, that, that's that. Yeah, that, yeah, that's a normal thing not to check. Oh, the blind coming out. Eco pops his ult. He's trying to look for someone. Sends it out that way. Gonna get cut. Uh, uh, gonna get Cutler real quick. Sending a couple of blast packs out. Trying to stop the defuse. Can he do it himself? Yes, he can. Eco locking down map number two. 400 thieves and taking this to a best of three. Get out of my way. Oh, you see some toes. Drone going to take out Pride there. Kiko's going to try to return it. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how Drone managed to survive that. That was a ballsy play. Running on in there. But Wardell manages to find two with the knives. Oh, that's Wait. disgusting. Finds the third. It's just Mame and Brax. This Brax will be the one that ne is next to fall. T1, a great push now forward towards the B side. Kaboosh trying to get in position. That's going to be the curveball that is almost ready. And on the opposite side, it is going to be food. Oh. Kaboosh! Kaboosh! He finds four on the round, and Envy, their dreams are still alive. Can be not only for T1, but for our oh. stomachs at times. And we see some early picks here from the defense, just down to Skadoodle. Unfortunately, he's got the bow and arrow oh out, but gosh. switches to the up, and he makes it sing. Now deals with Mame as well, and all of a sudden, a very doable scenario for Skadoodle. It's the 1v2. On the opposite side, it's no Akis, way. and he gets sent to the graveyard. The side, it looks like the spike is going to go down, and Simo, this baby's for all the marbles. The spike has been planted. Oh, oh, oh yes! Finesse! Lines up the crosshair just in time. Wait, I'm making sure they're 0-2 before I make my joke. Yeah. <laughs> Pussies. <laughs> no fucking Aries me, you fucking cocksuckers. Oh fuck that worked, dude! Done? I'm up, I'm up. Done. One way. I got it. Dead. But by now they still have to make this hit count because Caboose is one of those top fraggers and he's been a nuisance the whole way through. Nice job. Trigger disappointed. Oh no. He lets him walk in and finds three headshots. Caboose was the hero in round four that got this all started. And here he is got starting it up with a three kick. You know, fall away from a pick nice and quick. And he's dedicated to this. He's got no one backing him up. They could be up short for all he knows, but he's a, he's a brave boy, is old Wardell. And that's a silly peek from Finesse. Going to be punished all day of the week for that. There comes the knives in here. Potentially goes the round bucket. Wardell just taking his time. He's got the operator for long, and it's going to find the off on the opposite side. Wardell with two, and Drone is going to finish off the round. And we'll see, what can Caboose do? He was the player who got first blood the last two rounds. Looking for one here. He gets Ooh. walled off, but still finds the headshot while falling off the wall. Oh my god, Caboose is an animal. Again, another post plant in high numbers. What is it, a 5v4? This is going to be another tricky retake here. Yeah, and this time Hayes doesn't have the wall. He had to invest it at eight. They got it out of them early. So you're relying oh, on a little they bit they of cover. Planted. Did they? No, they're okay. Okay. Whew. This spike can't be touched until the molly is gone. Now they're easing in with a little bit of cover from Warnell. This is what they did last round, but Mummy is here to answer back this time from the window. So Rover 5 2 trying to do a drone in just a round to go. The Calypso dropping the alt, and now we've got a counter brim on it. They get it halfway, they've got it all the no! Calypso with the last second pick on Sub Rosa. Everyone falls to the bomb, but a huge round. Envy 12 7 is on map point. And Wardell has a player down to about six health in the mid. So they're keeping mid presence. Ace is going to find finesse, and this spike will be planted. But Wardell is now out of the action. That spike didn't get planted. Defense holding strong, and that Molly is going to cause all kinds of problems for Ace. 
Honestly, a small misplay from Sabrosa. I, I thought, I think you thought he was safer around the corner, but let's see what Hayes can do. The double dip in on the peak. That's so good from you Hayes. You got a res in Quick one round. Res. Oh, Hayes, you absolute god. Mummy trying to survive as Hayes is going to find Calypso. He continues to cause problems on that right side of the map. Meanwhile, it's going to be Sabrosa finding the fourth, and it's all up to the Cypher. Finesse with 10 HP, and that's not going to be enough. TSM after being down, what was it, 9-3? At the yep. half, if not 8 4, 9 3 at the half, comes back and wins this one in overtime 14 12. Yeah, already. Colors going to find Finesse. The trade comes back in towards Hayes, but Drone's got a good idea where these players may be. Stunning shot towards Caboose. Ultimate to be in Pulse. Wardell on the clear, but I'm pretty sure the spike can be defused. Maybe not. Maybe Mummy's got something to say about it. He's still got eyes on this. The flash comes in. He's fully white, but the defuse, it ain't going to happen. Nicely played by Mummy then. But look at this weird mismatch of rotations. You've got such a weird area to be in. That spike was so. Over no! Caboose, no, you did don't. not! All right, we're going to move on. Don't worry about it. Nothing happened, Caboose. We're going to ignore it. What are these rounds? Is it just me thinking they're a little bit weird? Okay, let's look at the HP. So obviously, Akis is super low, so he should be the one just to kind of go in and allow the potential trade, but still Wardell. 20 seconds. Where are you going to take that spike other than B? Door is closed as well, Ooh. so they've got to be pushing through main. And there oh, no. goes Akis with a quick trade, the operator falling it up. So I was nervous with you, Horn, but nice job by Mummy to hit the shot. Sabrosa looks like he's about to put his utility down, so we can expect the site hit to come in soon. 3 2 split. Oh, on the site, here we go. Caboose is going to have his hands full, but Calypso gets the first two. Caboose gets out alive, and there's a nice flash. That's going to hit uh, Hayes. Hayes goes down, and the Cuggler falls to the flames. So they stall out again to about 44 seconds before they try and push in. And this, it was all stopped by the Brimstone and the Phoenix. What else gonna try and keep his gun? And he will after that pick on Finesse. And Akis, I mean, what can you do? One before you are trapped from all directions and Savrosa is gonna end it 13 to 11. Final score here as TSM continues to show that Ascent is one of the best maps in their playbook. Site once again. And they're just buying time. Here comes the first ultimate from Sinatra. Can he turn it into kills? The flash is going to land and he cleans up Michael. They've got the info as well here. So Pansy, they're in a great position with Shazam and Sinatra just trading and baiting for the double heads. Oh, that combo was so strong between them. They isolated the spike. They've done everything. Sinatra's having a terror of a round as well. Three for him. It's towards B-Long. Um, they kind of double play off the back of each other. There's the flash. Double peek it. No messing around. They're not baiting each other. They stick on the peak too. He was lightening up, but back then he was on Sage. Now he's got Sova with a little extra info. Uh, Dapper with a nice angle. position. I'm wondering what they're waiting on here. It might just be a timing. Oh, God. Oh, oh God, no. the timing. It's so badly wrong. They're all there. It's falling apart. Fuck it. It's, it. It couldn't have gone any worse. Now Sinatra's just on point. Quinn's going to take him down, but it's just Quinn left in a 1v2. Possible for sure. And they know there's still a player up there. They know Shazam hasn't crossed out yet. So he could be in all kinds of trouble. If he doesn't land the shot, and he okay, does, Quinn. Quinn is back in the game. As he tries to come through the defender's tunnel, Quinn is feeling it's from heaven. He's just going to try and back up and keep his opponent guessing. Ultimate ready, though. That is the most important part. If he misses this op shot, expect him to just hide and bust out the ultimate to force him back. Instead, it's a headshot, and that is the round. Zob's too quick for Quinn, and he is going to make it 6-2 with the clutch. Against just two players, Phoenix stuck in lamps, and of course, you're going to see now it's just Effie's left alive. As everyone knows where he's at, he's able to trade out one, make it two headshots. All right, Effie's. He's already cleaned up three, and he has a res. This round is not over. Why is he so crisp on this? Absolutely beautiful control on the Vandal. I don't get to see this often. I remember Angel for Party Parrots in Europe was uh, one of the ones to look at it. Here comes the res. Might be just a bit of bait, but it does draw out the peak. The time is dwindling and he's found Good another. Shazam, race, did you brother. have to peek it? And look at this. They're going to cover while the spike goes down. Just enough time. All the pressure in the world on Dapper now and what looked like Almost a complete round locked up. Effie's pulling out some magic, and they're going to win this one with an eco. It's just one Vandal, two Spectres, and pistols. Uh, but what could be great is a little bit of a hold to this attack here. Maybe hindering it coming in towards Hookah could be a really good start. Effie's waiting for this. Oh, goodbye, ultimate. 
and it's a bit of a waste. They're gonna have to try and play through that. And Sinatra does! <laughs> they That's put everything. Good Look at that utility. Look at this utility that's been put down. Three massive oh pieces of utility God. put down into play just to hinder Sinatra. Oh my, wait. He can't see the diffuse, I don't think. I don't think it matters. No, he can't. It doesn't even matter. Defense wins it. And what a perfect way to win it out as well for Gen G. Their retakes were exemplary throughout, and they proved it in that last round as well. Classics, and that's about it. So if they get anything out of this, a gun would be great. You know, cost the opposition a little bit here and there. That'd do wonders, but it looks like Sinatra just feels like being aggressive and... Oh, I okay. don't think Overwatch League would allow that sort of thing. Uh, so... Actually, we, we, we encourage it. Uh, no. At least I did when I was on the ship. Sinatra is still going to prove so much value in these sort of approaches. A little bit of a swing around, and I don't know what the playback in is here. Quinn's trying to make it happen, and okay. that's incredible amount okay. of work coming in from Quinn. Three quick kills, and suddenly the game's not over just yet. Wait, looking look at, for look some at early aggression. Look at this cypher middle. They should hold until he gets as far as he can. Oh dear, this is a big individual play coming out from uh, the Cypher here. And that's going to cause so many problems for these players on A because they now need to be careful of their backs. No one's watching it. He can get right behind them. They've got to know this, but they're, they're trying to commit towards this angle. This is such a big presence. Oh dearie me. Like an assassin in the night, this guy is just walking around and destroying everyone. Good work from Shazam to finally stop it. By this point though, the attack inside is everything they need for this to succeed. Shazam trying to hold strong with the Operator. Quinn coming flying at him with the ultimate, and Shazam will connect. That was a headshot taking him down. Spike still not planted. 22 seconds left on the clock, so they got to act fast if you're Gen G. Sentinels now have the ultimate from Shazam. But will Dapper be able to follow up? There was ice slowing him down. Now it comes in, and a perfect one. Doesn't touch his teammate. Nice stun, Dapper with the first finds. Evans on an instant drop, and now they got the info of the last player. Shazam and Dapper just pulled it off. It's left, so this spike has to be planted, or you have to get all the kills, and this game is over. Okay, that's a good step, but it's not cleared out yet. Shazam still buying time, three seconds. The spike, it's loose, they can't do it. Can't be planted. It's done. We're going to a game three, Pansy. The op in the hands of Win. He is in a tough spot. A work from sick, but an instant inject. Now, Huynh has to has to do so much more, though. Sinatra going to try and hold the angle. Blastback goes out at the proper time. I thought he was going to be in trouble. Instead, there's great cover from Dapper. And the blast pack is going to do damage to two. Sinatra's oh all. Phantom is going to do the rest of the work. Dapper and Sinatra, the two-man army over at B, get it done. And exactly that showstopper could be massive. Keep your eyes on the rockets from both sides. And here comes the attack. You've been over it goes. Sinatra oh. double blast pack into the explosion. GMD goes down. Perfect grenade. And Sinatra is getting oh, cleared exactly. by Dapper. The duo holding it down. Well, no, no, no. Let me show you what I can do on every other agent as well. That was beautiful. Let's watch this one. Bang, bang, straight over. It's just, hmm. It looks like the hit towards heaven is Get coming in. Nice first pick. Sinatra's gonna find a second with the help of Shazam. And the daggers keep flying. Down goes Effie's. Quinn was cleaned up. And here comes Shazam trying to finish it strong. GMT is out. Player one, last one standing. And no more. 13 to 9. Big finish by the Sentinels as they're moving on in the semifinals. For homeless, they simply need to be able to find these frags. And just as I say that, though, Brax is gonna be the one to find it instead. All these ults are going to be used. Lasky's going to be in the backfield. Here oh. he goes. Pops the showstopper. And his teammates there to pick up another one. But Brax, he got himself three. It's not going to be a 1v2. Can Brax clutch this one out? Both players are going to be playing around lamps. Brax making a whole heap load of noise as he's going to just push his way forward here. Does locate one. Can't even get the ace. Can he get the ace as Brax? He's playing this one smartly. He's waiting to see if this is going to be a push from Poise. But Poise has a time and Poise clutches it up, making it 6-6 in the end. Uh, to be really quite a commanding force in the North American scene as they are going to push on to site. Now Lasky gets a two for one. Absolutely huge, but Brax is there to shut him down. And they're just tucked away inside of here. There goes the showstopper. Oh, no. oh Sky gets two. Oh. Sky with the ace. Oh, my goodness. He just had no chance to be able to win. No business winning that one out the way that he did. And he gets it. Oh, my word. Skadoodle ends him with a snipe. Two players left alive here for T1. This is the round. 
They need to keep this thing going if they want to have a chance. It is match point. Brax has been really nice with those mollies the entire time. Actually having to force out death, but death had no option to move around. So they get the kill. This has actually become a, a slightly manageable situation here but it all depends on what brax can do they know brax is located by guard and he's making a lot of noise they know that ska is by hookah he's made a lot of noise as well brax is gonna creep around this corner and he gets killed by psalm leaving only one player left alive and psalm's double ends the game and homeless go up by one versus t1 here in the quarterfinals i cannot believe it gaskin and here comes the attack now paranoia is gonna be in play lasky sees a player actually now he's going to see him actually jump right in front of him there was another one that was going to be in front but def gets another kill there onto brax and def oh. continuing oh my goodness def you absolute beast two players now located on site crashies is dangerously low on hp spike is down they'll have the numbers to be able to work this one through gaskin and this could actually be over before it starts and there you have it that's four kills for death to start things off here in the pistol round and by god they want a pistol gaskin oh that dark cover played right at the perfect time but azk just snapped on to the face of death will get the headshot and now they're going to look to make their way inside of b but oh. superman from behind superman from behind that's going to be three looking for another one here as he creeps around the corner he located one more he knows he's inside of that little connector there and that psalm with two ending that right then and there smart play here so i'm watching the angles sees one player inside of the red room more shots are also going to be out they think that they're going to be inside of the site here and som gets one kill so som's pulled some attention oh. this way and then here comes superman here comes superman oh superman oh. oh superman yes what a play that was gorgeous crashes is on heaven he'll be the first point of contact if he drops Skadoodle, though, has done the job on Lasky, but here comes Poised. He gets a third, and if it's a fourth here, it could be the 12th round. We're going to see Crashy tap this bomb. Is he going to hold it? No, he gets off it, but he gets to kill onto Poised. Has he got enough time? No, he doesn't. It's going to be 12-6, and Poised did just enough. This is it, folks. This could very well be the conclusion of this game. Can Brax clutch it up here in heaven? Spike is down. That's one. Now looking for another. He knows that Spike player is by the generator, but it's Superman. It's Superman. He's there to take out Brax. A huge pick on Heaven now is going to direct their attention to any player that could be pushing through to the doorway. Superman holding this angle down. He goes for a few shots there, but he does it again, and he does it three times. Superman, you fly. Fly, you man. I cannot believe that T1 has been knocked out of the competition. Shinobi will be split up from his teammates, though, as Kohler does get the kill onto tens. They know exactly where they're going to be located. Shinobi, one shot with the Hunter's Fury. Doesn't locate a second kill as the two players are tucked away by the defender side. And he will get tagged out, and he's going to get bolted. So location revealed. They can push this one if they so dare. But Shinobi! Oh, man, Shinobi, what a play. And that is five for Cloud9. And and what a topsy-turvy series of events this has been. Oh, uh, Bjor, Bjor caught him on the trap wire, but was able, Tens able to just clutch it out again? Yes, because that is what Tens does. JC Sani, though, clearly sees that Relics was going to be there, and he was very weak and... May this actually be the moment that C9 was looking for, finally getting a round win after losing so many back to back to back to back. Ends with another kill there, Asuna in heaven, and it's not enough there. Only one player remaining. Kohler is out of here. JC Stani has an angle on a few players here. Oh, JC Stani with three. I know it's just a pistol, but you just really love to see it. I'm always hoping that people are going to get aggressive and push out. And speaking of aggression, Vice gets two, Ooh. makes it three with the Bulldog. Insane stuff from him. Very much on the cards, but there are a decent amount of post plant positions here. They're trying to cover all the possible angles, but Shinobi gets two with the spray down. 
which now means they can push onto the site with oh, the advantage. No. Fights through the floor, denies anything from hell. Now it's all down to Gangster in a one versus three. He is going to be sat on Jen, gets one, but can't get any more. Shinobi with the 3k, and that's going to be 12. That's going to be match point now for Cloud9. Ultimate's online once again, that showstopper that Ten's had. Oh, Kohler's going to get in there. He has no choice but to move. Does get the indication he's going to be there. Connects with one against Mitch. Looks for two and gets two. Headshots for Kohler. And he was on the no. reload. Oh, no. Oh, oh Tens. He took out the classic. And then Tens gets two because he used the showstopper right at the nick of time. Unfortunately for Shinobi, that just leaves him all by himself. And the attackers, Immortals, get another win. It's going to be the only one revealed there. Tens gets an aggressive angle. And the kill to Spike Harrier will give them an indication as to what the plan potentially was going to be here. Oh. Tens, I mean, you psychopath. Tens, oh. oh, just go to Tens. Just go to Tens. Just go to keep tens. stay on Tens. Oh, my word. He's got himself so many. No, okay, oh. I was about to say, like, it wouldn't have worked. It surely wouldn't have worked. Man advantage now. Four mortals. Tens is going to get smoked out here in the cubby. Oh. But still gets a kill play aggressive vice with the opening pick on jc stani that is most certainly gonna sing here but asana on the flank asana on the flank and gets two kills mitch knows keeping this game in their favor he's looking to end this one they're so close 12 8 but kohler another kill is gonna give him the advantage 10 on the high ground oh my goodness he gets the kill through the smoke with the classic and now it just leaves it up to kohler he has been amazing this entire time gets one kill onto tens this is it it all comes down to the final moments kohler saw exactly where he was and he's gonna play for it he's gonna play for the orbital strike but relics with all the confidence in the world is gonna secure the victory for cloud nine they're moving on in this competition worked so well zoms was so unaware caught with his pants down and now this is where you've got that mid load coming into play but dap is trying to hold back his blood here comes the push from the top. Dapper trying to keep him off. And there's the first shot. Lands that one. Paranoid, but it's nearsighted and he's able to find Hayes. So big hold by Dapper once again. The Star Cypher holding his ground as it's going to be Sentinels taking the pistols. And we'll have money going into round two. And here comes the double shot dart play as it should be the first pick. Not complete. And we will see Sinatra still holding the corner as it's going to be Shazam forcing Drone out. Excellent teamwork there to get the pick. The attackers all hitting A quick though, and it's going to be up to Dapper, Dapper and Zom. Um, but the first two, Spectre at range, and Dapper is going to have his work cut out for him. Come on. Oh, Wardell, that's a little cheeky there coming in. But Shazam's on the case, and Wardell, that's a problem. That's a big problem. Sinatra is just doing him dirty. Look at this. Hold it safe and force them to come down. All of these players retaken from the same position is going to be really, really tricky, especially when you still have Wardell in that sort of position. Util left on Sabrosa to buy more and more time. At the moment, TSM are showing exactly what they're made of. This is a big performance, and this retake is going to be brutally hard. And again, these quick hits as well, through hits, are just going to make it trickier with this utility left. And Wardell is just buying time. He's being the biggest pain he can be. Sinatra might find one. Shazam finds a second. And suddenly it's game back it on when Shazam lands shots like that. We do have the Rolling Thunder available. Will Shazam exactly invest it here? Man. Now could be the time with everyone set up to follow it up. Yeah, this is going to have to be a very, very uh, comprehensive hit together because Hunt's going to be running out on Drone. Has just found three out of nowhere. Four. That's four. Drone just went massive for his team, and Wardell's just going to close out. One versus two. Both players are weak. It's going to take about two bullets each. I like what Dapper tried to do. Capitalize on the player holding the back while the plant was coming in. Just for that second. Tries a new angle now. Still trying to get past the Broza. He's not allowing it. He knows the position. The time is being bought here. Nicely played by the most plant team. They're going to sit in deep. They do not want to allow any mistakes. A readjustment as well. Playing a little bit of a new angle. Close right on the boxes. Swing comes out. But Dapper finds Cutler. A mistake being made. But the time is ticking. It's 4, 4 HP. HP. I think it's good. What a 2v1 clutch coming out of Dapper. That was even a brimstone all trying to delay him. And they know exactly where the defenders are positioned. Shazam towards Drone, Sick towards Cutler, and Hayes falls, and there it is. 
What a commanding scoreline, 30 in the three pocket. That is a statement and a half. Trying to survive, had the shorty up tight, but he is forced back by Sick, and Sick is gonna find two of his buddies. They're outgunned, they're expected to lose this round, but every kill matters for the economy in the long term. And we'll see what the Silva can do. Absolutely nothing as Sick finds his third. They're gonna ease their way onto the A site. Of course, they've already got Bath locked down by Zoms, and it's gonna be a retake attempt coming through CT, shut down. Last man standing. Good luck, Mr. Hayes. TSM need, do you know, I wish you could call timeouts in this game. They need something. They need to stop this six so good. I mean, everything they're doing is just working. And Shazam is just waiting for a challenge. Peek me, bro. I got a Bulldog versus your pistol. Oh. And there's a two for one with a single burst. Oh, dear. And so Rosa will find him. Brim on brim action. Going in favor here of... Oh my goodness, I'm looking here, Lauren. I am so scared. Look at this minimap. The pressure is coming in from oh defense God. just when I thought TSM had it. They are going to get pinched. Shazam with the big two. Wardell's on the Come other on, side Wardell. of the wall. He's got shock darts, but how long can he hold this? One more. Oh, that's not bad. He's he's doing everything he can. Wardell is going to try and do whatever he can to try and get on this one, but he's got to be quick and he can't do it. So Natra denies, and you're right. That flood of players coming back in, and there's a party on his body right now, but. And yeah, I'm waiting to see how much this damage comes through. Wardell posted up by Hookah. Here comes that retake. First and foremost, it's Sinatra. And it's going to be Sabrosa and Haze to fall accordingly. Zoms finds Wardell. Pocket, is this all over? It's done. It's done. Unless some magic comes out of Drone right now. That was his last flash. The wall goes up just in time to make sure it's a 1v4. And he is going to get picked. So Cutler with the Sheriff and all of TSM's dreams. That is gonna be it. Spike defused, and we give Sinatra a lot of credit for that last push. Again, it is set up by the utility, the equipment, the Hunter's Fury coming from Shazam, right behind everyone else flooding in a flash. Sentinels looking clean. They are dialed in, and they are headed as our first team to the grand finals of the PAX Arena Valorant Invitational. Only five seconds to actually get there. I don't think he's gonna get the plan. This is gonna be so close. Fractions, yeah, he okay. Got it. He's he got just it. got it. He just. got it. Oh. That was a little squeaky oh, bum he's... time there, Gaskin, but it works out, albeit in a not the best way possible. Both players are gonna be coming from the defender side, so Lasky will be okay in the angle that he's watching. Look out for Poison. And I think Lasky's gonna be the one that should make first contact before he swings and there you go. Nicely done there. Because it means you have to jump out of that window and it leaves yourself quite vulnerable. But here we go. This is gonna be unfolding right here on B side. Oh, this is bad news. That's bad news. Gary blows up right in front of Depth though. Kills are starting to come in. Sam will get two kills out of that one. Right between the and now Superman gets on through. Only one player remaining. And it was Vice. It was a valiant effort without a doubt. But now they're going to be within one, unfortunately. He isn't able to do the damage. But when he comes around the corner, though, that actually pays off now. Last player left alive is going to be tense. 22 HP in a dream. The nade goes down. Doesn't quite pick up a kill yet, though. But players are going to be very weak and tense. Tense. Oh, boy. And Psalm clutches out right through the structure. Does manage to get the kill. The headshot. Def might get a kill with this and does so. That shorty at close range will do a heap load of damage to you, but so will a blast pack. And Tens delivers that one right to the loving hands of Def. Blast packs are just so, so deadly. And Tens now continuing to tear through lamps here. Has another set of paint shells to lob out. That's going to be a 3k and going to be the round. So clean. Waiting for anything that can maybe work out for them, but Tens Showstopper is going to stuff Poise. Very unfortunate there, but very fortunate for Cloud9. Because the, uh, the Hunter's Fury now, and Tens just smart, so smart, getting out of dodge with that blast pack. The only person left alive was Psalm, and that will be a wrap on that round with a bow on it. Is it enough to get the kill on Tens? No, Tens is still gonna be, oh, I was gonna say, he's still gonna have a little bit of HP remaining, but certainly not gonna be enough there. And also Mitch, 
really just going to be all banged up here. Both players, as a matter of fact. Mitch is able to give himself some help again. There goes some. He knows exactly where these guys are going to be. But Mitch, instead, around the corner there was Superman. Gets the headshot. Mitch, though, he's been so amazing with that. Oh, my oh. goodness, Mitch. Oh, my goodness, Mitch. He got a triple there at the blink of an eye. And Shinobi around the corner on the box is going to end that game. Cloud9, just like that, pick up the win on Vine. A little bit right, more well. slow now. Ooh, Poise gets on top. He got on top. Oh, what a play. Oh, Poise threats three. Wow. What a play. He did not anticipate him to be able to get on top of the wall. He's all right with that. It's all on that. It's a thrifty and it's all down to Tens really with his ult. Just again, being really aggressive, pushing into the site. When you're a Brimstone and you're a Cypher, it's not always easy to pick up kills if you are being picked off at the start of the round. Oh, nice kill there, Orbital Strike. One thing you love to see when you're a Brimstone main is getting a kill with your orbital strike poise does manage to dink uh this was uh, gonna be i think it was just relics that got onto cypher vice with two superman though around the corner superman gets four but now needs to get onto this site does have enough time some on top of the generator and manages to clutch this one out so no presence there for vice just gonna be backed away for a little bit more time delaying too that which is the scarier oh, part man. unfortunately for lasky he is continuing to struggle here mitch with an angle at the windows, we'll see anyone coming through this mid-market. He's watching around the flanks as well in case anyone's there, but no one will be. Had Lasky been able to get a kill, that actually could have given him an opportunity. Rest. To just delay that and then they can push in, right, with some more time. Mitch, though, he's just doing the job here. Slow Orb as well, gets another one. Mitch, oh, oh Mitch with an ace! That's why you signed him. There goes Def. Big kill there. Shinobi, Ares, hello, my friend. It's very nice to see you here. Ares in the mid-market. Get one, gets himself three kills. Maybe another one as well, but Poise is Stinger. You're going to have Omen creeping around there. It's Relics. Lasky, though, another kill for him. Maybe get another one here. And wow, what a pop-off from Lasky. And they needed this one sooner. But hey, better late than never. And now it boils down to your last two. Viso with a kill. Only player left alive is Sam. Let's see if the magician can pull a rabbit out of his hat this time around. He has a lot of HP remaining versus the other side. Omen's going to be tattered. Sam gets the kill. Looking for another one, but oh. Sam cannot keep it alive. And the day belongs to Cloud9. They are going to be moving on to the finals here of Pax Arena and a cursory tactical crouch there to close things out. C9 are your winners. Nobody going down opens up the site and uh oh it's unraveling tens has to try and hold on to this you tens was able to get shazam sick there with the instant res and now tens is deciding do i go ahead and updraft do i tell my teammates i can well the peak is coming from above and tens somehow turns and punishes sinatra the first 1v1 we see sinatra had the first bullets in him but tens gets the flick Cypher playing in the tight corner, but it's going to be Zom's now isolated on the site as Dapper peeks. He's got the right timing, and that's all three lining up for him. Going to punish Tens. A nice attempt, but Six now in trouble. Can't see too much. Shazam's got his back, trying to trade effectively. Cage goes down, and no Relic says relics. hello. That's huge, but still, you've got Dapper alive, and after that last clutch, I ain't going to doubt him. Cloud9 pulls it out, but that was a little bit messy in the middle after a fantastic start from Tens. A little sick piece there just to throw it in every now and then do that sort of play so so nice and it just keeps you on your toes on the attack inside you can never rest on your laurels i love to see that that makes me so happy but by now the revive comes back in as a trade was there for mitch and mitch is just on patrol here not allowing people to cross clearly towards the site it's the I final know, round of the exactly half could be playing this one slow to go for the resurrect but tens isn't slowing down by any means out comes the jet ult and the daggers come flying mitch looking for more it's tense who's gonna get his second and there we go three kills for each players and the defuse but you got to keep your eyes on tens anytime he has this jet all up he is able to do damage there's the first gets the instant reload down goes the second and finds the third it's 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 got to be done they've got to be so aware of this angle there it is execution towards dapper you can see zom's trying to bait it out that was f that, that's fine margins though is Sinatra gonna do this ridiculous? Like, what is what is that? What? Is, uh... <laughs>
Alright, Tans, we've seen this before. The smoke. One more comes in. He gets up close and personal. This time just pops it straight up and down. Looking around. Looks towards heaven. He finds one. Tens is looking good on this. And there's another victim. Tens is so damn good in these rounds. But Spike's not gone down here, Pocket. There's still dangers aplenty. I don't know how he does it. He is so consistent. Definitely the most efficient player with a jet ultimate. Now, he may have to bait a teammate or two here. But expect him to be good for the right click. And down goes the wall. Tens is going to punish Zom. Gap around your screen with a terrible weapon for this range, but he is going to make it work. That is Stinger taking down Relics. Out comes the knives, though. If Tens finds one, can't finish off Sick, and Sick is going to make that one count. It's a 2v3. It's not over yet. Sick needs to do more, and he's done just that. One towards Mitch. Wow. The second again. This is three now for him. Or do they play purely for this retake? They're getting close. They want to end this one now. In-game leader for Cloud9 will be outgunned by Zombs, and that will do it. Sentinels lock up map number one. We've got to be careful how he does it, but B's being taken as we speak. Yeah, Shazam's going to be on a nice flank, though, and if Tens is looking Zombs forward, he could be the first one to fall. Relics is on the other side of the wall. Zombs is actually going to hold true with the Ghost as he gets the first pick on Mitch. That is going to delay the spike plant. And the spike is having to rotate out. Shazam on the point, doing huge damage as he finds his third, looking for a fourth. Now Shazam trying to work magic, but the brimstone late smokes coming into play. They're holding it. I'm pretty sure they're still on this one. They're, 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 Shazam's gonna re-smoke it. Double dips on it. He's still no going way. and he's still got it. Nicely done from Shazam. Rose, just simply don't fake Mitch. You gotta know this now. And two specters, they're gonna try and play this fast. In a short range. Here comes Sinatra flying through. They're having none of it. They've got him red every day of the week. He has had no success. And on the other side, the other player, his counterpart, his counterpiece is Jeez. tens. And count to three. The man's racking up the bodies. He wants to get to 12 rounds. He wants to look at the third map. He's thinking about bind already. This is going to be a tough one to play back through. But that's the beginning. And tens. Is he going to do it all himself? No. Sick is still trying to hold on. Sick has a resurrect if he's able to pull it off, but there's two players on the sites. He's just going to stick with his guns here. That's a third. Sick makes the 2v4. A round in favor of the Sentinels finding four kills after the plant and is going to get the op as well. We're going to find out. It's only oh, Is that a call at the start? I'll take it's it. It's the double. This is fully a three versus five with 50 seconds and a tens in your face. He's going to find his third. Get the eighth tens. I'm ready for another highlight clip. Let's put this game away and move forward. Now, the ultimate is still available for Zops. That's the only thing that I can see in their favor. Now, I'm just going to shut up and watch Tens for a little bit. Okay, let's, let's watch Tens in his natural environment here, prowling and destroying <laughs> Sentinels one by one. Unfazed by anyone. <laughs> I don't know what Zoms does, man. What can you do in these buckets? Okay. All right. They're giving them the opportunity for the ace. And there it is. Oh. Tens and Cloud9 will tie up this series 1 1. Mitch is going to engage here in just a little bit. Does come around the corner. Relics gets that first blood on Dapper. What a shot there from Mitch. Looking for another. Does land it. That's going to be a triple for Mitch. Because. Old Sova went for the oh big old flanker Rooney. Ooh. We'll get the first. Nice little headshot onto Relics. Oh. Now he knows that there's one player in heaven. We'll be able to heal himself up. And have a little look. He is going to look towards oh. short here as well. He gets the second. Oh. And this could be the third. He does go for the spray down. Now will we see the possible clutch here from Sip. Six is going to be dancing around the truck here. Mitch is going to be creeping around the corner cold with this op. And the connection's not there. And Sick clutches it after the plant. Oh you let him know let him know oh my all bruised and bloodied they're still gonna have to commit to this and zoms has a great angle can get some shots off but we'll be backed away sinatra with three looking for another one but there's shinobi he had his back his teammates back does get that kill 17 hp though Sam is also going to be dangerously low as well tens nails the shot shinobi oh no shinobi has to be careful not to take this over to his teammates and shazam gets another kill Two players left no alive. Left. Six around the corner. Shinobi goes down. It's just down to Relics, and Relics can't do it. A tied game. Relics cannot do it. Four kills for Shazam. He was a superhero at the end of that one.
Spot up two, but Dapper gets two openers of his own, and now this could be the end. Is oh. nine. Janatra is there to get a third, and surely Sentinels win from this point. At least Vice has done something, but he's in a one versus four GB, and I don't think this is going to go well. Yeah, as uh, I heard in an old Halo ca Halo match all these years ago, push because you can't lose. That's basically where it's at right now, and they do it just like that. Sick gets the final kill, and Sentinels pick up the win here in game number three. Put to towards B, but now it is going to be the push from middle up to A. They're going to go up Vents here, but they're going to be walking straight into Sinatra. Oh, no. He has Boombots, he has oh, Flashbacks, no. and he's done so much damage. He's ripping oh. through them right now. He gets a 3k, and that is definitely not where you want it to go. You did not want to head into a raise there with all of a utility still available. Mitch does it, cleaned up by Shazam's Bulldog. Shazam is going to be in the corner there. Vice makes quick work of him. The nade comes in, two kills. Oh my goodness, Sinatra, please stop blowing them up and let me finish my sentence. Two versus two, and Cloud9 need this round, but Showstopper oh. is popped here, GB, and he's going to get a kill with it. That's going to be the third, and Tens can't manage to do anything from that defender's doorway. Sentinels with an 8-0 lead here. Yeah, but maybe Look he's going to go sick. for the Viper's Pit on A here. Go for the bait. Like, oh. Try and make them think they're doing that play again. Oh no! The plans. The, the plan is all. It, it, it's done. It's done. They know exactly where they're gonna be. Just because Sick held that angle and he Viper's pit over by the A site to go for that play again. Now the the confusion actually settles in here because they don't know that the Viper's pit could be out, so they are gonna go back. Instead, they hard commit onto the B site, which they will do so because they have no time remaining. Wall is down. Sinatra has to get these kills here. Just has a Spectre. Shazam though, don't forget, has the Blade Storm. Mitch, nice shot there. We'll connect for another, but the paranoia is gonna be too much room to handle. Last player is now gonna be Tens here, looking to hold this round down for his team, but it doesn't happen. Nine three in the half, but. It could have been a lot worse for Cloud9. What round do you need to see Cloud9 get to before you really believe they can make a game of this? Seven. Okay. I will be back with that same conversation when <laughs> they get to seven. <laughs> All right. Well, the push is now going to come through fast and heavy right through the A site. Shinobi and Relics. There goes Relics by the screen. Well done, my friend. That's five. Further stall with the Viper's Pit. Potentially, he's going to be sent over toward Heaven. So now they really don't have a choice when they get up on there. Mitch is going to be banged up, bloodied and bruised. We'll be able to get out of dodge with that one. But his teammate died around him. Tenzo working around inside and Shazam! Oh. What a kill from Shazam! Mitch with 22 HP. He's surrounded by so many players. This is one of the most important rounds. But Relics get shut down. Shazam! What a kill for him! It's now just Shinobi. Last player left alive, and that is going to be match point, series point, and tournament point. Sentinels, one round away. And we now need to see absolutely perfect Valorant being played from Cloud9. They need five on the bounce to take this to overtime, and their money is not great. And maybe you're going to try and get aggressive, but so is Shinobi! Shinobi with two kills! Hey, if someone needs to make a play, it better be the IGL in that instance. The site's going to be open, and Tens will meet him. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This actually changes things up quite a bit. Sick with this kill. Now the wall's down. He can get this spike off. A 1v2, but no armor. So it doesn't have the cushion of the 50 HP that would be remaining. And also, nowhere for him to be able to res his teammates so that they can put an exclamation mark at the end of this competition. But how amazing would it be if Sick manages a clutch up, a 1v2 here, when all hope appeared to be lost, and it was Sick, the Battle Sage, to win this one out. Player's going to be located on the site. Sick now in a 1v1. Oh, no! And no. Sick! Sick! I cannot believe it! Sick gets it, and... Your champions of PAX Arena are Sentinels. Every time.